was day three. Today I'm going to be giving you 150 items to put on your wish list for Christmas this year. So we're going to do this in 10 different categories with 15 items in each. The first category we are going to do are clothes. So the first thing I suggest is a North Face puffer jacket. They look so warm, they're so stylish, and you can get them in so many different colours as well. Beige cargo jeans. The next thing is fuzzy socks. Now where can you go wrong with fuzzy socks, you know? Brown plaid skirt. White cable knit jumpers. Next we have leg warmers. Next we have any sort of winter jumper. Uh, next we have tennis skirts, white tennis skirts especially. After this we have jeans, everyday jeans. But everyday jeans are very useful. They can, uh, the more you wear them, the more comfortable they'll be so that they'll make you wanna wear them more. Low rise jeans, flare jeans, any sort of matching pajama set. Now isn't it so cute to have matching pajama set in winter? Next we have long warm coats. Lastly for clothes section we have any sort of hoodie. Like obviously this is self explanatory. Hoodies are great, you know, like you can't go wrong with the hoodie. For our next section, we have shoes. The Jordan 1s, Nike Dunks, Nike Blazers. Personally, this is not um, something I would buy, but they look quite nice if you style them properly. Air Force 1s, Air Force 1s classic Nike, Air 270s. I had a pair of Air 270s. They were bright blue and bright pink. They were so comfortable. It was like walking on clouds the classic converse the black ones and the white ones converse high tops so like the platform ones any new balance shoes next we have uggs uggs are my holy grail the ugg boot classic ultra mini so this is the one that's really trending right now it's a really kind of short ugg with like a short ankle bit and then we have the ugg classic mini boots next we have mary jane white crocs the classic doc martin boots and doc martin black loafers lastly for shoes we have any sort of fun slippers i think having fun slippers around is really really nice for our next topic we have makeup so we have the Dior Lip Oil, Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Next, I really recommend getting a cream blush. I have a cream blush and I use it for school and it's absolutely amazing. NYX Jumbo Pencil, which can be used as a highlighter pencil and also it can be used as a white waterline. Kiko Lip Gloss. Uh, I really recommend having clear mascara. On days where you don't want to wear makeup but you still want your lashes to kind of have a lifting look, use clear mascara and an eyelash colour. Liquid Eyeliner Black and white so get both get a black one and a white one i use eyeliner like all the time and honestly it really enhances my eyes and i think i just look so much nicer with eyeliner because it defines my eye shape more glossier blush so this is a liquid blush which is different to the cream blush but it's really nice this glossier has so many different colors so many different shades and honestly it's just the perfect stocking filler next we have false lashes glossier lip balm sold de janeiro perfume ariana grande perfume now I have Ariana Grande perfume cloud, like the cloud one, which my friend got me for my birthday. It smells so good. Lash serum. Uh, lash serum is used to help grow out your lashes. So like you would kind of draw it on here and it would glow, grow it out. Next we have again another liquid uh, blush, but Rare Beauty blush. The Rare Beauty uh, liquid highlighter. Moving on to accessories any sort of beanie. Um, we have scarves, gloves and earmuffs. Plain jewellery, so like these gold hoops which are on the screen, a pearl necklace. Now this can be either fake or real depending on how rich you are. A messenger bag and a shoulder bag. Claw clips, um, they're so useful, you can get them in so many different colours, so many patterns, many different sizes and they're just so useful, you know. Next we have a heatless curling set which curls your curls nicely you know scrunchies so we have silk scrunchies and fluffy scrunchies have any sort of hair clip any wide headband so wide headbands are like this thick lastly we have a crystal bracelet now these can either be real crystals or fake crystals um but they're just little crystals on a bracelet you can um you know crystals bring different sort of energy so if you believe in all that spiritual stuff I do recommend getting a crystal bracelet. Next we have things for all the book lover people. 
If you don't know what their favourite books are, get them a Waterstones gift card. You can't go wrong. If you get them a gift card, they can buy their favourite books uh, and you don't have to stress and ask them and ruin the surprise. Next, you can get them cute bookmarks. Daunt Books tote bag. Book ends. Now, if you're someone who reads a lot and puts your books all on shelves, I do recommend getting book ends. These stop your books from falling over. Next, if your friend or if you love annotating books, Get them some semi-transparent sticky tabs um, and transparent sticky notes. These are so useful for annotating books because you can read the words underneath them, but then you can also write on the top of them. Next, you can get them a reading light, an Amazon gift card so they can buy all these accessories for themselves or they can buy their own books for themselves. Next, I recommend an Amazon Kindle, a book reading lamp. Next, you can get them some crochet book sleeves, Next, book nooks. I died for book nooks. These candles from Bookish, so Bookish candles. They smell like different kind of things related to book. Book themed jewelry or book themed jumpers. Next category we have is electronics. Phone cases. Next we have laptop cases, a keyboard covers, a wireless typewriter keyboard, get a wireless mouse. Next, if you're into videography or you're into photography, get Canon cameras. Um, I have, I film on my, iPad or phone, but I have a Canon photography camera, um, I think it's the E50, an Instax camera. So this is a Polaroid camera. If now we get onto the little bit more pricey things. A new phone, iPad or a tablet. Next you can get a MacBook or a new laptop. Next you can get wireless headphones, so a charger accessory. So these are little uh, sort of animals that, that go on the end of your chargers so they are really cute and they're just kind of fun. Next if you have airpods like me you can get an airpod case. I have a heart airpod case and honestly it's really useful. Next I really recommend getting a laptop stand especially an acrylic one. Lastly for electronic sections get a portable charger. Our next section is stationary. Now I live laugh love for stationary. Stationery is my life. So I recommend getting midliners, the midliner highlighters and brush pens. Next, get Muji pens. Next, we have a planner. Now is the perfect time to get a planner for 2023. Obviously, to do with stationery, notebooks. Next, get some blue light glasses. I recommend getting blue light glasses. I have a pair and um, because I'm always on device computer, um, I have a pair of blue light glasses that kind of just protects my eyes because I already wear glasses so my eyesight isn't great. So with those I can protect the UV light and the blue light from uh, damaging my eyes. Next I really recommend getting a phone stand. I use mine all the time but especially get one with like holes at the bottom so that when it's standing you can charge your phone. I use this all the time when studying. If you have a lot of documents or you have a lot of video footage like me, get a really cute USB stick. Obviously, if we're talking about station, you have to get a cute pencil case. So there is this pencil case, which is a massive trend right now. It's really good. I have one that I use for school currently, and it's so spacious. A bullet journal. Get fine liners. Next, get some Crayola super tips. I've seen so many people on TikTok um, use these to do their titles, to do their calligraphy, and I got some myself, and they really are worth it. Next, I recommend, again, with all the notes and bullet journaling, get some washi tape, some cute stickers. Where can you go wrong with stickers? You can't go wrong with stickers, that's the thing. Lastly, for the stationery section is gel pens. Moving on to the section of room decor. I love buying room decor. I love decorating my room. As you can see, I bought some things for fall and make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be buying things for Christmas as well and I'm going to be decorating my room for Christmas as well. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. So with room decor, pillows. Pillows are obvious, throw blanket. Next, I recommend investing in some LED lights. On to the theme of lights, salt lamps. But I know I am getting a galaxy projector. Next, having posters. So as you can see, I have some pictures up on my wall, um, but getting like big posters to put behind your bed or to put on like empty walls. You could also get Aura posters. So these are special made posters from people on Etsy. Next, acrylic storage boxes, a jewelry stand. Uh, if you're someone who wears a lot of jewelry or has loads of jewelry that you want, that you think is really cute and want to put on display, get a jewelry stand. Next, we have mirrors. So getting a full body mirror. Uh, next, I recommend getting fake plants. Now, if you're going for the vanilla girl vibe or the that girl uh, kind of look, 
get designer books these look really nice in general they kind of it's a very simple accessory but it's also like a really powerful accessory you know next you can get records or cds lastly for room uh, decor we have a diffuser next we move on to the topic of self-care any sort of face mask so you can have a clay face mask or a liquid face mask or you can have a sheet mask a Laneige lip mask next we have CeraVe face wash Florence by Mills Cetaphil face wash now I recently got Cetaphil face wash and it's shocking the other day I had some acne on my eye so in the morning I used the face wash and in the night it was gone uh, the ordinary serum like hydraulic acid serum a wellness journal candles now, personally, I'm not trusted around candles, so candles are a little bit of a no-no for me. But if you are, and you are allowed candles, candles are great, you know, they give the room such a nice smell, and also um, they save electricity, especially in the economic crisis England is in right now. They save electricity and they give a really nice kind of light, it's kind of like a warm glow. Next we have an ice roller, star face pimple patches. Now I have these and these are amazing. Maui hair care, so for example shampoo, conditioner and hair mask by Maui. These literally saved my hair. So my hair was um, gets greasy really quickly so it gets greasy within a day and the shampoo I used to use was OGX. Um, I don't know, it just didn't work. But when we switched to Maui, it would stay clean for around four to five days. So really, I would only have to wash it once a week. Next, I recommend getting my cellar water, so silk eye mask. So next, we have a jade roller. Next, we have a face wash stick. So there are pictures on the screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. But this is so much better than using your hands to wash your face because you use your hands a lot in daily life. So obviously, there's a lot of bacteria. So and trying to cleanse your face with dirty hands is not good. So getting a face wash stick is uh, much cleaner and better for your skin. The last topic we have are designer brands. Now, if you're looking for designer stuff, this is for you. But if you're not rich, these are just kind of things you aspire to have. The Ralph Lauren Cable Knit Jumper. I've seen these on Pinterest and I would literally die for these. They are gorgeous, they are beautiful. They match with anything and they're really comfy, I think. I don't know, I've never had one of these. <laughs> They're really comfy and they look really nice. Same with the Ralph Lauren American Flag Jumper. These are really trending right now. I can't believe people actually have the money to have these. Next we have the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I've seen so many people have these and it looks really good. People use these to take things to school. It looks uh, really spacious and it looks like it has a lot of pockets but also it's by Marc Jacobs so it makes you look rich. And lastly for this whole video and this topic we have Vivian Westwood necklaces. Oh, Vivian Westwood. Her necklace, the necklaces on the brand is beautiful, but obviously they use real pearls, which is why it's so pricey. But they have cute little uh, planets like Saturn on them, and I just think that's really cute. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it a little bit interesting, and I hope you found it useful. Um, let me know in the comments what you want to get, what you aspire to get, and what your wish list uh, is going to include. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my socials. Instagram, TikTok, Spotify, Snapchat, Depop, and Vintage. Make sure you join my Discord server as well. The link will be in the description. Please share this video with your friends as it really helps out my channel. I hope you have a good rest of the day or rest of the week and I will see you all next time. Bye!